Hey everyone, it's Mr. Delicious here. Today is the day that I think a lot of people have been waiting for for literally many, many years. It's the release day of Cyberpunk 2077. You're a dick, you know. And you're a cunt. Maybe we'll fit together after all. And one of the aspects of the game that I think a lot of people have been talking about is the character creation mode. And I think a lot of people can't wait to dive in and have a look at how they can customize their version of V. And the character creator has been set to be super deep and there are many options to customize your character from the hair color to your nail color to your nail length. But also something that I think a lot of people want to see Yes, you can customize your genitals. <laughs> I know that I've been very curious to see the character creator in action. So today I'm going to dive in. We're going to have a look at the character creator and we're going to see what kind of options you have in creating your version of V. Now remember, I'm going to do this all live for you. So I haven't seen this before. This is all going to be new to me. So you're going to see my reaction as we're going to jump into the character creator. And as we are going to go through all of the options that you have in creating your character. So if that's something that you like, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you get a notification whenever I put up a new video on the channel. And of course, you can watch me play Cyberpunk and many other games live over on Twitch.tv. I stream there every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So go ahead, check out the link in the description, and well, hopefully I will see you there. But for now, let's waste no time. Let's go ahead and jump into the game, and let's have a look at the character creator of Cyberpunk 2077. Okay, so let's jump into a new game, and I guess we're going to start with the character creator instantly over there. Uh, difficulty level is going to be normal for now because we're not actually going to play the game. We're just going to see what we can do with the character creator. All right, so the first thing that we're going to have to do is create V's life path. So there's three options that we have over here. We've got Nomad, Street Kit, and Corpo. Uh, let's have a look. Nomad, roaming the Badlands, looting scrapyards, raiding fuel depots, life on the road wasn't easy. But growing up in a Nomad clan has its perks, honesty, integrity, and a love of freedom. Qualities that a few in Night City possess. And no amount of money can buy. Street Kid. They say if you want to understand the streets, you gotta live them. Gangs, fixers, dolls, small time pushers. You were raised by them all. Down here in the law of the jungle dictates the weak serve the strong. The only law in Night City you have yet to break. And Corpo. Few leave the corporate world with their lives. Fewer still with their souls intact. You've been there. You've bent the rules, exploited secrets, and weaponized information. There's no such thing as a fair game, only winners and losers. Um, so I'm guessing for my playthrough of the game, I think I'm going to go with a Nomad. And I've heard that depending on the choice that you make over here already, that's also going to influence the type of game that you're going to experience. Some options are going to be available to you, others are not. Um, so choose wisely. Choose a playstyle that you think fits with you. Alright, so here we go. We've got a uh, body type. We've got two types that we can choose from, from the get-go. Obviously, we have a... Um, well, dominant male body type and a more female looking body type. I'm going to start here with a male one. I think most of the options are basically the same, uh, seeing as you can basically customize your body any way that you want. So let's start with the uh, dominant male body type. Uh, you got some presets over here. Uh, I'm not sure what this one does. Oh, I think this is just random. Oh, there's a lot of options that you have. Um, let's start with a uh, kind of a generic preset, I guess. All right, let's start with this and we're going to customize them anyway. Uh, okay, so voice tone. I think we have... Two v. options. I'm V. I'm V. You got two, uh, yeah, you got two options. You got feminine and masculine. And depending on the voice tone that you pick, that also is going to set their pronouns to either she, her, or he, I'm him. V. Skin tone. You have uh, several options here as well. Let's go with this skin tone. I like that. You can actually rotate the character here as well. For now, I have to say I'm very impressed also with the graphics. Normally, uh, you know, like one thing that I always notice in games like this is that the hair doesn't really look that good. But I think in this game so far, at least with this haircut, it does really look good. I really like the, the hair so far. Skin type, we've got several options there as well. Which is going to, you know, change the type of skin that you have. Um, more, blemish, more blemishes, more, um, more rough skin. I'm going to go with uh, skin type 5 for now, I guess. Hairstyle, there's bound to be a ton of them. Can we just see all of them? Okay, so that's the downside. You can't really see, like, like with the skin tone, you could just open a list. Um, but with most of these options, I guess you cannot, which is kind of annoying because you have to click through all of them. And there's, as we can tell already, quite a few. I like this one. That was 18. So far, we are at 22, 23. Let's click all the way through. I'm kind of curious how, how many we have. Okay, so we have... 39 hairstyles in total. So you have to go through all the 39 of them and then make a pick on which one you enjoy most. So um, if you are like me, if you are in any way like me and you are really, you really want to customize your character, you really want to make sure that it's, you know, a character that you want to play 
I've heard 175 hours with, then you are going to have to spend quite some time, I think, in the character creator. Because even though the game is, of course, in first person, and you don't get to see your character that often, still, you know, you know you're playing with this character, so you do want to, at least for me, you do want to make sure that it's a character that you will um, enjoy for, you know, the entirety of the game. Okay, let's go with this one. Hair color is the next option. Uh, luckily, there is quite a few. Uh, you can see, you know, all the options that you have available over here, so I like that. And some of these options actually are like, you know, dual tone, which is very cool. Um, for instance, this one, you can see blue over here, but it's got pink and then, you know, blue on top, which I think is very awesome. And, you know, seeing as I dye my hair as well, uh, I'm definitely going to go with a non-standard hair color for my character. Uh, I'm going to go with this one. I really like the uh, the pink and then the greenish blue on top. I think that's super cool. So let's go with that. Moving on, we got the eyes. Again, we got several options here, uh, 21 in total. And I think all of them are like subtle di differences. You know, eyes slightly bigger, maybe a little bit more apart. But this is this is one of those things. I think eyes is definitely one of those things that you know it has a, it, it makes a difference, but it's also very hard to um, you know distinguish. Like they all look so alike. So let's go with option number four for now. Eye color again. You can actually open it up and you can see all the colors. Um, and also, there's quite a few. I haven't seen this before. There's quite a few uh, very interesting ones. Um, also very, like, unnatural ones, I'm guessing. Uh, these are, I'm guessing, lenses or maybe even, like, complete implants. Unless you go with something like this. Which, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of cool looking. I like, uh, I like this one. If I'm, uh, if I'm being very honest. Uh, eyebrows. Again, we have several options. Uh, in total, we have eight options. Or you have the option to turn it off. So that's, would be nine options for eyebrows. Also this, you can choose certain colors. Uh, let's go with pink. To match our hair color. Next up, you got 21 options for the nose. Now, these, of course, are slightly less subtle differences. You know, you got big noses, small noses, crooked noses. Mouth is next. You have 21 options. Ears, again, 21 options. It appears that all the, you know, all these body uh, options all have 21 options for now. Okay, so for your beard, you have 12 options. And you have the option to turn it off altogether. So that is 13 in total. And then, of course, your beard is going to dictate, you know, the style of beard that you have. Um... As well and depending on which version of your beard you have apparently you can also choose certain styles so for instance this one has three styles a mustache only um a full beard and a bigger mustache full beard and then of course again you can also choose the color of your beard um funnily enough i think they can actually match with your hair color so you can also have i think like a dual tone here it looks like it's not as distinct as your hair color but still it's pretty cool that you can uh, customize that as well all right, so next up is cyberware. That is the things that you can see, like the Im implants that you can see on his face. Um, over there, we have eight options and the option to turn it off altogether. Some of them are more subtle. Others are quite distinct. I'm thinking I'm not going to go with any scars, seeing as, you know, we have the cyberware already. I'm not, I don't think we want to add any additional scars or blemishes or anything like that. So I'm going to keep that off. Facial tattoos. We have 11 options and again, option to turn it off. Now, this one I really like. Uh, I like the side of it, you know, being all black. I don't necessarily like the eyes, though. I don't like the eyes being all black. So if they had this style without the eyes being black, I think I would go with that. But I'm not sure. I doubt that they actually have something uh, that specific. Maybe I'm like being super picky. I don't know. One thing that I noticed, though, is that my whenever I choose something, it scrolls all the way up, which is pretty annoying. Uh, so we were here at the facial tattoos. Uh, we also have piercings. In total, we have 16 options or the option to turn it off. I'm going to go with leaving them off. Teeth. Wow, you can even customize your teeth. That is pretty insane. Uh, four options. And it's basically, uh, it's only like color. So your teeth can be, um, you know, natural color. Or you can actually, you know, color them. Uh, I think we got saw silver teeth, gold teeth. I'm not sure what this is. Bronze and red. Lip makeup. Six options. Um, I thought it was only going to be, you know, the color of your, like, you know, lip. Lipstick, but it's actually, um, well, there's actually certain patterns that you can use. Uh, nails. Long nails or short nails. Those are the only two options that you have. And then, of course, you can select your nail color as well. Again, nails have a lot of different options that you can choose from, ranging from regular colors, but also more intricate designs that you can choose on your nails. Next up, nipples. Whether or not we want to turn nipples on or off, uh, I'm going to leave them on. Body tattoos. You got five options on that. And then we come to the thing that I think most people are very curious to see, uh, and that is our genitals. Uh, yes, you can indeed 
select genitals for your character. Um, by default, it's turned off, so your character is wearing boxer shorts, but if you press it to turn on, you will see his willy. So here we go. There it is. Penis number one, two, or a vagina. Those are the two options. So you got two options for a penis, uh, which I think is going to be circumcised or uncircumcised. And then you can uh, select the size as well. Default, big, or small. So there's three options. And you can even have pubic hair styles. So you can turn your pubic hair off or make a interesting pattern. You can have a, a heart. As with most things, you can also dye your pubic hair so we can make it pink if we want to do that as well. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's our character for now, I guess. Uh, let's go next. All right, so last up, I think we have the customized attributes. So you get certain, uh, it looks like skill points. Um, I'm not sure if they are called that, but you get certain skill points that you can divide. And this is like in most RPGs, going to decide whether or not your character is going to start with certain traits or certain skills that he already has. So there's five different categories that we can go through. We've got body, intelligence, reflexes, technical ability, and cool. So once you do that, once you've decided you wanted to, where you want to distribute them, you can go evenly or you can give uh, all of them to one certain trait. I think the total, let's see how much we can get in total. I think the total is going to be uh, six, it looks like. So the total is going to be six for all of these trades. So you can't give all seven to one trade. So that's a good thing to note. Next up, I think we're only going to get a summary. So in this summary, you can actually see a little bit more of all the choices that you just made. You see the backstory of the Nomad that we picked earlier on. And then you see the attributes that we just picked with the five skills. And you see a fingerprint. Uh, which I'm guessing is going to be kind of similar to all of uh, everyone that is playing. But that is our character. That's the character creator in Cyberpunk 2077. Okay, so now we've seen the male character. Let's have a look at the female character. Uh, we're not going to go through all the sections again, but let's just check to see if there's any major differences already between the male and the female character. I don't think so. I think most of the options, if not all of them, are exactly the same. Uh, again, nipples as well. Although we can select multiple different nipples when it comes to the character with breasts. Uh, you can select a chest size, so small, default, or big. Body tattoos are all the same. And then we have genitals that you can also select. By default, it goes to vagina, but of course you can also add a penis if you want to this character as well. And there you have it, a first look for you at the character creator in Cyberpunk 2077. There's a lot of options for anyone that wants to really customize their character. However, you don't have the freedom, just like in, for instance, a game like The Sims 4, where you can really sculpt the faces, you can pull out the cheeks, you can pull in the nose. You don't have those kind of options. It's all limited to presets that the game developers have set for you. For now, I'm going to go ahead and customize my character a little bit more before using it in my full playthrough, which is going to start tonight on stream, December 10th, 2020, at 8 p.m. Central European time, which is 2 p.m. Eastern Standard. So if you want to see my first steps into Night City and into Cyberpunk 2077, I would say hop on into the chat. The link again is in the description down below, and you will see the character that I eventually went with, but also my first hours into the game and into Night City. For now, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful to you, and hopefully you got a good overview of the options that you have in the character creator. For now, all that is left for me to say is that my name is Mr. Delicious. You have all been extremely delicious as well. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will catch you in Night City. Okay, so that's what I wanted. A sprinkler? Wait, is that a good thing? Do they want that? Because I feel the temperature will go up. Oh! <laughs> oh! Watch it, puppy. We have a puppy. I didn't hear the puppy come in as well. Oh, hang on. <sighs> Look at my puppy. He's not going to go in the in the zoo. He's just going to sleep next to me. Uh, Papa stream here. Yeah. Flying puppy. Yeah, I didn't see him coming. I'm, I'm guessing you guys did, but I did not see him.